Our next speaker is a native of Chicago. He's in his third season as the assistant head coach and offensive line coach for the Tulane Green Wave. He's also the running game coordinator for Tulane. Coached under Willie Fritz at Georgia Southern in 2014 and 15. Was an all-conference player at UG Martin as a guard, and he previously served as an assistant at Chattanooga. Also at Marshall and Itawamba Community College, made famous by Joe Horn, no less. Tulane opened his American Conference play at home Friday night against Memphis. Please give a warm quarterback club welcome to Coach Alex Atkins of Tulane University. Alex. I'm not playing too much. But I appreciate you having me today. I always like coming and speaking. and got a chance to come speak since last year. And I always love to come speak because what I'm learning at Tulane is um, when we first took the job, we, we went and studied programs like ours. We went to Wake Forest, Duke, Northwestern. We got a little bit of academic restriction, and they all told us, hey, you got to put your head down, and you got to go to work, and you got to develop because you're not going to be able to get too many quick fixes. You got to go in there and recruit those high schools, and you got to develop those players. And as they get older, you will come to it. So that's what we kind of take in that mode. And when I talk to high school coaches, the first thing I ask them about a particular player because the old lineman I've taken out of. New Orleans, uh, from, uh, Cameron Jackal from Shaw, Corey Dublin from Jesuit, they've all been what the coach said. And that's what I'm learning. I think all college coaches should coach high school football because they teach them how to put the pads on, which way the helmet goes, which way the butt pad goes, because some of them don't even know that. And, and, and sometimes college coaches will be a little bit arrogant because we get an already finished product and we like to take the credit for it. But now I'm learning you have to develop what you have. There are no quick fixes. So I always appreciate when I'm around head coaches that have been, high school coaches that has been doing it as long as they have because you don't understand the, the struggle. Of, of, they see it from a kid that couldn't tie his shoes to, you know, of course, someone playing on Sunday. So I have a lot of respect for what they do and, and learning how to develop. Um, last week, starting kind of going through the season, give a recap. You know, we had a tough one against Wake Forest, lost in overtime. Uh, then we go play um, UAB, lose that one by seven, and then we, uh, recently, we played Nichols also. That was a, a good game for us. Nichols was a really good football team. Gave us a, a challenge. We were able to get off late with it with some big runs by Corey Dolphin. And then, um, of course, we played Ohio State, which is a top team in the country. And, and they proved that they were and they belonged where they were. And this week, we opened up conference play at Memphis, who uh, I actually lived in Memphis for a year, went to high school there. I know Coach Novell. I know quite a few people on the staff. His line coach actually is a UT Martin grad also. And um, so it'll be fun to kind of go out there and face the top team in your conference in open play. Kids are confident, which is good. You know, it's tough to do that when you are one and three. But what I think is they, they're starting to – Coach Fritz always preaches we're going to build a football program, not a football team. He is committed because I've been around a lot of coaches that just try to win in one season and skid out. But he is not looking for the quick fix. He's put his head down, we're going to work. And we've had nine games decided by a touchdown or less. So I think we're going in the right, pro the right direction. We just got to stay with the process and keep attacking it every day, which is when Tom got me, I was actually, I actually just had these clothes in my locker because uh, I wasn't prepared to come speak, but uh, I'm glad I keep them in my locker. I'm always ready. That's the whole line in me. So um, looking forward to playing Memphis, looking forward to where we are. Um, so it, it'll be an interesting challenge coming up. They played South Alabama last week. It was a close one early. They got away late. They were able to score some points. We're going to have to stop them. We're going to have to put up some points. So other than that, any questions? All good. Appreciate you having me.